for once again squared off with Republican leaders today, although this time the venue was the courthouse and not the General Assembly. At issue, a law that requires state Senate approval of Cooper's cabinet nominees. CBS North Carolina political reporter Bo Minnick, he joins us live from the Wake County Courthouse with more on this. Bo? Sean, the governor is suing here, saying the law passed by the General Assembly is unconstitutional. Republican leadership at the General Assembly disagrees. Now the question before the judges here, does the law violate the separation of powers? The threat that the Senate might veto the governor's most important appointees limits the governor's choices. Attorneys for Governor Cooper say that has a chilling effect on the governor's decision making. On the other side, lawyers representing Senate President Pro Tem Phil Berger and House Speaker Tim Moore. The power to appoint is not exclusively the executives. And that is an issue before a three judge panel in Wake County. Did the Republican led General Assembly go too far when it passed a law requiring Cooper's cabinet appointees go before the state Senate for confirmation? Those same judges granted a temporary restraining order this week blocking the Senate from holding its first confirmation hearing on Wednesday. Democrats say no such hearing has happened in the past. It also harms the rights of the governor as the chief executive of the state and it harms the executive branch of state government. It should not be difficult for that nominee to present to the appropriate Senate committee information about his background, which presumably has already been examined by the governor. The hearing today was to continue blocking those confirmation hearings from taking place until the case is decided in March. The judges have yet to rule. Live in Raleigh, Bo Minnick, CBS, North Carolina.